Hello everyone, in this video I am going to create app like this. Let's suppose I am entering something like uh, let me enter REH. Uh, let's suppose anything A B C D and uh, email A B. Let me enter uh, password so one two three four. All right. Uh, now. Now here click on add. When I click on add, here let me go to Firebase and here uh, below this user look at this here ABCD and uh, here the ABCD name is also here and also email also password. I have got this uh, values from the app here. Now let me get this values again in the app so how would i also get that for that and let me click on this login here now look if i enter a valid name here that means i have given a hint of email but it is for name so a b c d all right and the password one two what is password here one two three four one two three four okay and uh, here click on login look this is login and password is also showing and uh, data received is showing now how i would clear this so let's get started first uh, i have created here two activities one is main activity for the uh, sign up screen and one is for receiving data for login screen all right now here in this main activity if i click on this layout here look here i have created first two uh, it is linear layout and it is in uh, gravity central vertical and i have given orientation of vertical here so and then i have given first name edit text and then a email edit text and then password and then after this one add button which add the user to the firebase and then login button which apply for the login screen and uh, what i have done on the back end of this in kotlin in kotlin uh, here here first i have created firebase database instance and it is called in kotlin all right look here firebase database instance then database reference instance it is from the database reference all right it is from query side look here then we would initialize it in on create how let me initialize now i have initialized this and uh, i have also given one reference here user where i we would get this uh, here in this look user below this user if you don't give this user then it would initialize everything uh, user below this one okay and how i added this user here uh, on i have clicked here on user and here i have put it where let me add one user and you can also add here as i did there but let me delete this okay the user is fine for now and uh, after this what i would do now i have created one listener on the add button find revided button and add button and in this button when i click on this add button it would uh, send the data to the firebase uh, and uh, and uh, if you have not uh, watched the video of how to add to firebase to this android studio let me give one example here click on uh, click here on this firebase here tools firebase and here we are using real time database so click on this real time database get started the real time database and it is connected to a, a firebase connect to data firebase it is already connected i uh, you have if you have not now here first i have given the uh, reference of the in the text one for name one for email and uh, another one for password here okay now what i would do here uh, i have created one firebase user data class how you would create click on this new kotlin class and here select this data class and give a name i have already created here 
and uh, uh, here what I've done one uh, I have given one variable variable for name one one for email and one for password from using this I would send data to Firebase how let me use it look at this I have uh, created object of that Firebase user class here and I have passed here uh, this email name here uh, which way I would enter here it would pass it to this then email and then password and after that uh, I have given this database reference here then uh, dot child name which would give the name of this as I've done this here look here I have given name ABCD and here I have passed it to this one all right and then it would set the value of user this user value here first name then email then password okay all right now the sign up pass part is done for the receiving data for login screen I have created one receive data activity with the name of receive data here all right and uh, for I and if I click on this activity receive data and all okay and uh, here what I've done first created a linear layout uh, and also given a padding here then check email check password and then login button all right and uh, using that uh, login button here which I have given in the main activity this one if the user is already sign has signed up click on here she would click on this login button and directly go to the login screen okay then click on this receive in here and uh, for receiver button here I uh, also added check email check password and login after when uh, uh, user passed the, the email and then password I, uh, it is for the name let me give it name use use name here okay we have, uh, which uh, we have passed in this name here okay okay this layout is done here and uh, in the backend here first I would create a reference now first I'll initialize this the text and button here which I've connected it to uh, the examine here but then what I would do I would uh, use a uh, listener for these here now now I have used a login listener a login button here and use a listener on this login button here so whatever you would perform uh, it would be here now first in this login button i have created a reference of the user which i have given there and uh, then i have passed a query here uh, which would uh, order by child it is for order by child this one it, uh, this is a child of this user so it would follow this and uh, give this name here which i have passed here the value here you have to pass the same value which i have given here uh, you can uh, change it but uh, not here what we have passed here so you would uh, use it the same one here and then I will have uh, got the uh, email this email uh, text here and when the user name equal to this here now look I have created the listener now look I have created a listener on this check user here and whatever it would uh, change the data it would directly check it here so for that what I would do here first it would check if the value which we got here if it exists so it would go further okay now check here if it get cancelled here so it would show the post here get uh, which uh, I passed here cancelled now look here if the user exists here now it would get the password value from here which I passed here password the, uh, which uh, look the same password is here eh? look at this password it is the same here it would get from this and uh, it would get it from this email uh, which I have passed a value here the same here okay the name here it would go a child it would check the child of that value and uh, if then uh, when it uh, get it, uh, ahead it would check the password it takes which we have enter a password here 
now uh, it would check the password here which i have entered to this password if it is the same here so it would go ahead and show this password in the toast and i have uh, also showed uh, toast here data received and if it, it is not the same so it would show password wrong so code is done let me run the app so you will get how does it work now look the app is running now i let me enter a uh, value so let me enter let's have a name of a code and email code at the rate gmail.com then password here let me pass this the same password code okay now let me add this user first and now check here check it here look the user code is added here below this user and it has passed this email this name and this password here now uh, if this user is a, exists so it will go to this login screen here and here let me pass a name of code and uh, also pass a name of password here and uh, same password code and when i click on login here look the toast is showing code uh, and also data received so this was all about how to send data to firebase and how to receive data from firebase i hope this video was helpful and if you find it helpful so please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel thank you